Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. We are headed out on a beach trip here pretty soon. Our yearly beach trip, it's like our one big vacation of the year usually. And I thought I would enjoy having a big batch of egg yolk waffles to take with me for some easy breakfasts, snacks, just something easy that I can eat that I know that is gonna make me feel good. In my last egg yolk waffle video that I did for you guys, I used uh, Perfect Keto's MCT oil powder and their keto collagen powder, and those turned out delicious. That made a super high fat, especially with the MCT oil powder, super high fat waffles, which is great when you're trying to up your fat percentage on your keto diet. Um, but I'm not trying to up my fat percentage super high, so I was wanting to find a way to have the waffles be a little bit higher protein. They're still gonna be super high fat because they have the egg yolks and the melted butter. But as far as the add-in, I wanted to see if I could add a little bit more protein. And I have been experimenting with Equip protein powders recently. I've heard so many good things about them, um, seen some really yummy looking recipes. Danny Conway has, I think it's a fudge that she makes with the chocolate. Equip protein powder that looks really good. I'm definitely gonna have to try that. Um, I'm not really big on protein shakes. That just doesn't really fit into my lifestyle very well. So I haven't been you know, really excited to make shake recipes, but I've been looking into some other recipes using the protein powder. It's super high quality beef protein powder and the ingredient lists are super, super simple. Just looks like a really good high quality product. And now I'm just working on experimenting with it and finding how I like it in recipes. So I thought it might be really fun to try some egg yolk waffles with the addition of the Equip protein powders and see how they turn out. I have my little mini dash waffle maker over here preheated that makes the most adorable little Eggo style waffles that you've ever seen. So um, I have three of the Equip protein powders, the chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. And as long as the first one turns out okay, I'm gonna try the waffles in all three flavors just to see how they are. Um, Equip also has a peanut butter protein powder that just uh, came out recently, I think. So that looks really good as well. It would probably make a good peanut butter waffle, but I'll have to try that another time. I think I'm gonna start off with vanilla as like a plain waffle. And I am gonna go ahead and get my eggs separated. I'll save the whites for something else, maybe some protein crepes or some egg white bread. Um, but I will get my four egg yolks ready to go. We do have a quite a variety of sizes as far as the eggs. So I'll just be mixing and matching, getting some big ones and some smaller ones. So hopefully it'll even out. So to my four egg yolks, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And the original recipe is just the egg yolks, the half a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt if you want, and one tablespoon of melted butter. I'm gonna just throw in my one tablespoon of melted butter. Whisk that for a second. The butter is cooled. It's not all the way cold. It's a tiny bit warm, but it is not hot. Definitely don't want to pour super hot butter into the egg yolks. Now, as far as the protein, one scoop is 25 grams, and I think I'm gonna do half a scoop. So that's gonna be about 12 to 13 grams. We'll see how that works out. I might adjust it if needed. The scoops are pretty big. That's 13 grams. It smells really good. So some people were curious why the egg yolk waffles are made with only egg yolks and not egg whites. And I did experiment with using egg whites in there because that's a great way to get protein into things. But what I found was that they caused the waffles to shrink after they cooked. They like got some air in them while they were cooking and then they shrunk really bad afterwards. But with the only egg yolks, it doesn't seem to have that same effect. So that's why it's an egg yolk waffle and not just an egg waffle. All right, so that was a lot. It got it very thick. I might go ahead and add two more egg yolks and a half a tablespoon of the butter um, because I think this is gonna be a little bit too thick. And to keep all the ratios the same, I'm gonna go ahead and add a quarter teaspoon of the baking powder and then the half a, t half a tablespoon of the butter. And I'm not adding salt because the protein powder has a little bit of sodium in it, so I didn't think it would need both. Let's see how this goes. So the original recipe makes about three waffles, so this should make about four and a half. 
still looks pretty thick, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just try to cook it and see how it goes. It almost looks like yellow frosting. The texture is amazing. All right, here goes nothing. It didn't spread out quite as much as normal, which makes sense because the batter was so thick. It looks cute. I'll just cook up this batch and see, see how it turns out and then go from there. Try to spread this one a little bit more, but it's not easy. Ah. Oh my goodness. This is why the recipe experimentation should be done before the camera is turned on. Oh my goodness. That one looks pretty cute. I might only get three waffles out of this. The batter is so thick that it's not spreading out as much. We'll have to work with this, do some more experimentation. While that one is cooking, let's look at this one real quick and see the texture inside. Ooh, it looks really bready. That's good. Mmm, I'm gonna taste it. The taste is really good. Um, not bad at all. I think it's pretty equivalent to the MCT oil powder. One that I did before with the Perfect Keto. Um, so I like it. Uh, having the batter be a little bit easier to work with would probably be a positive thing. So I'll see what I can do on that front. All right, I have my four yolks in the bowl again. I'm gonna add my half teaspoon of baking powder and my one tablespoon of melted butter. And of course, for a plain waffle, you can just cook it just like this. And you can use it for savory things like breakfast sandwiches and stuff. But for the little bit of flavor and a little bit of added protein, we'll try some more with the Equip Protein Powder. Guess I'll go ahead and do the strawberry this time. Okay, so for the last batch, it ended up being 12 grams for the one and a half batch. And so that's eight grams per batch. And that seemed like too much. So I will go ahead and just do four grams, I guess. It's not gonna add a ton of protein, but hopefully I'll still get some of the good flavor in there. Four grams, so it's, I don't know, about a tablespoon or so, it looks like. I can smell the strawberry. That looks a little bit more like the batter is supposed to look same as it was in my last video. All right, we'll try this again. Oh, this one looks a little bit better. The batter still got really thick. It's like the protein powder absorbed so much that it got everything really thick. So I'm gonna cook up these last ones and then I'm gonna try adding in an egg white. Maybe the addition of the protein powder will help the um, the waffle not to shrink as much. I don't know. So I'm only getting two waffles out of this batch because of how thick it is, I think. This one will just I'll try to make a full-sized one. Can't seem to do that with this thick batter. There we go. So in here I have three egg yolks and one whole egg. So four yolks and one white. And I'm gonna just do the same thing that I just did four grams of the protein powder, half a teaspoon of the baking powder, and a tablespoon of the butter, and we'll see how that goes. So this batter with the egg white is a lot more liquidy. I'll actually be able to pour it this time. We'll see how it goes. You can see how much it's blowing up in there. 
and uh, I'm worried that it's gonna do the same thing as before blow up really big and then shrink after it comes out but how will we know unless we try all right looks pretty cute it is shrinking down a little bit we'll see how it goes in a minute or two I'll get the last ones cooked up so I'm not liking the look of the ones with the egg white they're just shrinking too much just like before and it gives just gives more of an eggy texture you can see that it just doesn't look as bready it looks more like cooked scrambled eggs Okay, next attempt. Four egg yolks, one tablespoon of butter, one half teaspoon of baking powder, and four grams of the vanilla protein powder. The only thing I did differently was that I added one tablespoon of heavy cream. I don't know if I'm gonna achieve my goal of getting a little bit higher protein end result because of adding cream, but I wanted to see if it would thin it out and allow it to cook without, um, shrinking afterwards like the egg white. So it definitely has worked to thin out the batter. That is positive. Let's see how it goes. All right, these ones are looking a little bit better as far as shape. Not sure about what the inside texture is going to be like. Okay, so these are the ones with the cream. They're very soft because obviously there was more moisture in the batter. The inside looks pretty good. Possibly a little eggy. The flavor is good. They're very soft. I like the density of some of these other ones. Like, I think the density of this one works really well. This was from the second batch where I just reduced the amount of the protein powder that I put in there, um, but the batter was still a little thick. So I think the last, hopefully the last test I'm gonna do is, I will do the same as I did with this one, except instead of adding a full tablespoon of cream, I'll just start with adding a teaspoon of cream and see if it thins the batter enough. And then I might add a little more if needed or just see how it goes. Because I think something between this and this is going to be the best result. All right, let's look at this real quick. Feels not quite as soft as the other ones, so that's good. That's what I was going for. A little bit more bready, maybe. I think I'm going to call this one a win. The taste is really good. The texture is great. I think I'm gonna call this the final. So this is how it goes with recipe creation and recipe adjusting. I had expected it to be a pretty straightforward substitution from the recipe I did before, but turns out different ingredients work differently in recipes. And I will often have people comment on my recipe videos and they'll say, I followed your recipe exactly, except I just changed this one thing and it didn't work, why? And as you can see, just changing one thing can change the whole experience. So that's why it's so important to follow people's recipes as written at least the first time, you know, if you can. And if you don't, then, you know, don't blame the recipe creator if something doesn't work out. So I am gonna do one more batch. Um, I'm gonna use the chocolate protein powder and see how that turns out with this recipe. Look at that chocolatey batter. You can see it's still got some chocolatey color even though I used way less of the powder than I expected. I do really like how bready it looks inside, not eggy like this one. You can see the difference there. I'm gonna taste this one real quick. Just a hint of the flavor and the sweetness comes through still. Definitely delicious. And I do expect that if you have any other kind of protein powder, that's just a pure protein, doesn't have any fat in it or really carbs, um, I expect it would work about the same 
Um, something about the protein powder just really made the batter super thick, so it needed to be watered down just a little bit. But of course, watering it down with the egg whites does not turn out super well. So the cream, maybe if you did a little bit more butter, maybe if you even added a little bit of water, that would be something interesting to try out. But I hope that video was interesting for you guys. And if you are interested in checking out Prime Protein uh, from Equip, I have a link down below with a 10% discount. This is another one of those brands where you don't wanna order unless you have a coupon code or they're having a sale. They do come at a premium price, but that is because they are super high quality products. If you guys have any recipes that you have done using the Prime Protein, I would love to hear about that down in the comments. Definitely planning on trying Danny's fudge recipe with the chocolate, um, and let me know if you have any other ideas. Hope you guys are all doing great, and I will see you again in another video.